What's going on, guys? Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top five loadouts in Season 4 Warzone. Rather than putting together five random guns on the first day of the update, I actually played the game and watched a lot of streamers in the last week. And these five guns is pretty much what you're going to be seeing across the board on any stream or any content creator that is currently playing ranked or just trying to drop really high kill games and pubs. So without further ado, let's hop to the list. Alrighty, guys, number one on the list is going to be the Lockman 556. This is going to be the absolute meta, probably the easiest gun to shoot right now. It shoots extremely straight. We're going to have the FTAC Ripper. We're going to tune that for recoil stabilization and for aiming idle stability. Harbinger D20 muzzle. We're going to tune that for recoil smoothness and for bullet velocity. The Lockman wrap barrel. We're going to tune that for recoil smoothness and for damage range. The aim op V4. We're going to tune that a little bit for far and for aim down sight speed. And then the 60 round. This thing is a literal laser beam. It is the easiest gun in the game to shoot right now. And you can basically beam somebody from anywhere on the map to anywhere on the map. This thing is disgusting. Alrighty. And the sub everybody is pairing that with is going to be the ISO 45. This is number two on the list. It's the fastest killing gun in the game currently right now. I believe it's a 700 millisecond smg time to kill all right so my build is going to be the seven inch raptor barrel tuned for recoil steadiness and for damage range the vlk laser tuned for sprint to fire and for aim down sight speed the mace 650 stock tuned all the way for aim down sight and for aim walking speed the a30 stout rear grip tuned for recoil smoothness and for aiming idle stability in the 45 round mag if you guys are having a hard time controlling this you could always take off this rear grip and just go ahead and throw on a muzzle of your choice the best one is the lacerta or the avr because it gives you horizontal horizontal recoil and then just go ahead and tune that for recoil stabilization and for recoil control i personally prefer the barrel though this gun is absolutely disgusting like i said before though this gun legitimately shreds any other gun in the game right now up close it is just absolutely disgusting number three on the list what you're going to see a lot of streamers using right now and i think more and more people are using it because it just kills faster than the lockman is the so 14 my tunings are going to be for aim down sight and for close on the aim op v4 i'm gonna have the bore master for damage range and for recoil steadiness i'm gonna have the sock and tread for recoil stabilization and recoil control i'm gonna have the f tac ripper for recoil stabilization and for aiming idle stability then i'm gonna have that 50 round mag this gun kills extremely fast and there is no limit to how fast you can shoot it so if you have a fast trigger finger especially this might be your go-to this thing absolutely puts things down for medium and long range if you are in a head-to-head -head gunfight versus that lockman you are going to be absolutely body slamming them because the time to kill is significantly faster only downside is that it's going to be a little bit harder to use and you do need to have a fast trigger finger number four Four on the list guys is going to be the lockman sub this thing still is extremely extremely solid uh, it only kills about 70 milliseconds slower than the iso 45 it's not going to be crazy unless you're in like a head-to-head -head gunfight versus a top tier player so the tunings i'm going to be rocking on mine is going to be the mirror factory stock i have that for aim down sight and for aim walking speed i have the lockman tcg 10 grip i have that slightly for ads and for aiming idle stability i have the 40 round mag I have the vlk laser tuned for sprint to fire and for aim down sight speed and then i have the falcon for aim walking speed and for ads like I said, if you're comfortable with this gun, it's going to shoot a lot straighter than the ISO. It has a much better iron sight than the ISO. The only downside is that you are going to be killing about 10% slower than the ISO, which realistically, unless you're hitting every single bullet of the ISO 45 every single time, it's going to be a lot easier to laser beam people with this Lockman instead. So ultimately, whichever gun you're more comfortable with, whatever you're going to be hitting more shots with, that's when the time to kill charts actually matter. Because if you're missing bullets, it's obviously going to be a longer time to kill on both guns. This is definitely the easiest SMG in the game to use right now, and it's still absolutely fries and last but not least we have our wild car guys the row this thing actually kills faster than the so and faster than the lockman 556 the only downside is that it is a little hard to use and it is a little clunky but without further ado let me go ahead and show you guys what i am throwing on this puppy i got the aim up tuned for aim down sight and for close i have the bvm 338 tuned for recoil stabilization and for recoil control because this muzzle helps a lot with horizontal recoil i have the sa side grip tuned for recoil stabilization and for aiming idle stability i have the 338 high velocity so this thing can be hit scan cross map i have that tuned for bullet velocity and for recoil smoothness and i have the stip 40 grip i have that tuned for recoil steadiness and for aiming idle stability this build does not have very much recoil whatsoever but in comparison to the lockman and the so it is going to be a little bit harder to use but if you hit your shots this thing is putting people down in like 600 milliseconds it absolutely vaporizes any other gun on this list and that is why it is our wild card if this video did help you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more as always thanks for watching i got you guys with more loadouts and gameplays thanks for watching Take care, guys.